We opened every special edition the other day, and this was one of the coolest ones. How about we open three of them? What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. We're opening three Forbidden Legacy blisters today. It's going to be pretty awesome. Some old school EN cards. We also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see from these blisters. Let's get right into it. This should be a really fun opening. Before the opening, I want to remind you guys, we are doing a Magician's Forest booster box break. Yeah, we have sold several of these packs. We still have a lot left. So if you guys are interested, check out ruxon34.com. It's going to be a YouTube live stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a really awesome opening. Hopefully it has the Dark Magician Girl inside. Even Unlimited Dark Magician Girl is crazy in price these days. So it should be pretty cool. Okay, let's get right into these blisters, guys. So I think we're going to open all the blisters at once. What do you guys think? So we've got one, we've got two, and we have got three. Okay. Let's open these all at once and get into it. All right, so we have all three of these open. We have three Pop-Tart packs. We've got three Spell Ruler, three Metal Raiders, and three Legend Blue Eyes. Jose S. sent us these to open for him. So that, thanks again, Jose. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's hope we can get him something awesome. Let's start off with, I think we start off with Spell Ruler. Pop-Tart pack is pretty exciting. So we're going to save that one. We have a Spell Ruler pack. Inside of these, there is EN cards. So what do I mean by EN? The prefix down below, I'll show you guys, has the EN prefix for English prefix i should say so check this out here they started doing this around i guess 2004 2005 this came out in 2005 so all of these packs have the en prefix which they did not have originally in 2002 and 2003 so it's pretty unique to find these cards they're only in for lob mrl and mrd they're only in this set the forbidden legacy it's not really a set but the blisters as well as the master collection one so that's the only place you can find these en cards so it's pretty cool Electric Snake, wait. Why did I think this was a Metal Raiders card? I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, I thought that was Metal Raiders. All right, Minar. Flash Assailant, and there will not be a rare and a foil. Just a foil or a rare. Flash Assailant and... A Mother Grizzly. Okay, we got the Crab Turtle, Snake Fang, Peacock, and the Wall Shadow. Okay. First pack's a dud, but that's okay. Let's try out a Metal Raiders pack. So they changed... To spell ruler in 2003 so since this is 2005 they have the spell ruler name so there's no mrlen it's only srlen for spell ruler okay next up it's a lot of fun these these forbidden legacy are one of the coolest products like just random products that they ever made i think we have a killer needle very cool skull knight very awesome that's one of the coolest looking cards let me check him out that's really cool guardian of the labyrinth all right, a monster that guards the entrance to the nether. We've got a Tainted Wisdom. And a white magical hat, just a regular rare. We've got the Tongyo, Lava Battle Guard, Mornfin, and Unhappy Maiden. Okay, we're starting over two. We still got 10 packs left, though. So I'm feeling pretty good that we got a chance. One Legend of Blue Eyes here. We could pull the Blue Eyes EN, which is a pretty cool card. I did grade one in PSA 10 a couple of years ago. I sold it for... 300 and 400 dollars something like that so uh yeah it's a lot more expensive than that now okay the king falk beaver warrior the en beaver warrior one of the rarest okay what is his name what this creature lacks in size it makes up for in defense when battling in the prairie okay petite dragon and wait oh okay it's only the fourth card it's only the fourth card root water next one Grave Digger Ghoul. We got the One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Umi, Hinotama, and Armel. Okay. 0 for 3 on the first blister. Let's see what the Pop-Tart pack can give us. So inside, there's only three options. It's going to be Karibo, Dark Magician, or Blue Eyes. So obviously, we're hoping for the Blue Eyes. Hey, what's up, guys? Check this out. Woo! Looks like a PewDiePie thumbnail. All right, let's go. Here we go. What's it going to be? It's a normal monster. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. Check it out. I have very good luck pulling Blue Eyes White Dragons out of these for some reason. Okay, let's check it out. The It's definitely a little warped, which is pretty normal for these things. Um, if it's just warped, though, that's okay. If it's actually bent, that's when you're in trouble. Looks pretty good, though, overall, actually. I mean, it's warped, but I think it could be flattened. These are actually like $22 or something near mint. They used to be like literally like a dollar, but they actually look really good, honestly. I really like how the Secret Rare looks with this art it looks better than the ultra in my opinion one down 
Two to go. Oh, well, don't start with blue eyes. We gotta go to Spell Ruler. All right, Spell Ruler. Yeah, we'll, we'll save the blue eyes. We're gonna get an Ultra Rare Blue Eyes and a Secret Rare Blue Eyes. We already got the Secret Rare, so. All right, it's not quite October. We got the October Sir, <laughs> or the October Sir, however you wanna say it, but it's almost October, so, you know. Hungry Burger, E-N, what a legendary card. The Commencement Dance, all right. The metal fish. A metal fish with, with a razor sharp caudal fin. Okay. Yeah. I don't know a lot about fish, so I should probably know what that is. And a giant true nade. We've got a SRL EN giant true nade super rare. That's really cool. Okay. Our first foil of the video, besides, of course, the blue eyes. That's pretty cool. I mean, it looks like it's in good condition. Let's check it out. Yeah, it looks to be pretty good, guys. Very nice. Very nice giant true nade. Then we've got the Archery Girl, the Malevolent Nuzzler, Ancient One, and the Firecrack. This is going uh, fairly decent. We're looking for a huge hit, though. Something really cool, like a Secret Rare Gate Guardian, a Summon Skull Ultra Rare, a Black Skull Dragon, Time Wizard, Solemn Judgment, Barrel Dragon, Thousand. There's so many options. I can go on forever. We got the Dragon Piper. Let's go. Germ Infection. Ancient Lizard Warrior. The Seven Colored Fish, and... Elegant Egotist. We got the Unhappy Maiden. Uh, oh. Pecanio Moth. E-N. One of the rarest forms of Pecanio Moth. Armor Ninja. And then, of course, what is this card? What does this name mean again for this card? I can't remember. On to the Blue Eyes pack. By the way, guys, we mentioned it earlier, but if you've not seen the Every Special Edition opening, go check it out. It's very long. It's oh, almost two hours, an hour and 48 minutes. Go check it out. I spent a long time editing it, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's continue on to the LOB pack. Just one foil so far. We're really hoping for like three, I think. I think three is pass ratio, though. It's like between two and three foils is what we should get. Okay, we've got the root water. <laughs> the root water. What a weird card. All right, drooling lizard. Speaking of weird cards, huh, the drooling lizard. Sparks, one of the strongest cards of all time. If you are playing modern Yu-Gi-Oh, you have to be running Sparks or you will not win. So you want, you definitely want to you know, save that one. It's probably worth like 50 bucks. In Warrior number two. And a stop defense, hard armor, Kumutoko Forest, and the Skull Servant. A skeletal ghost that isn't strong, but can mean trouble in large numbers. Second to last Pop-Tart pack, not final. Let's see what we can do. Also, hopefully I can get these audio things that are being really weird fixed. Oh, there's a Karibo, okay. Karibo, very cool. Maybe we'll get the Dark Magician and get the whole set um, last. There's a little bit of like st stuff a little bit of spots on the back, but it's still pretty good. Um, there's been this weird audio thing where it it's my mic is not picking up my S's, and I'm like, it's like, it's like a, it's really weird. I don't know why it does that, and I don't know what to stop it. So hopefully it's fixed by now. I don't know. Um, okay, one more, one more thing. Bell ruler. We got three more packs. One more pop tart pack, and then we're done. Let's get Jose something good. So far we got him a blue eyes. We got him a Karibo. And we got him a giant trinade. Let's get him an ultra rare out of one of these packs. Ratio is 1 in 12, so we have 12 packs, so hopefully we'll get something. We got a guardian of the throne room. Labyrinth Wall. The Liquid Beast. House of Adhesive Tape. What does this card do again? If the defense of a monster summoned by your opponent is 500 points or less. Oh, okay. Good against, like, zombie cards. Mystic Tomato, we got the Peacock, Wall Shadow, the Stone Ogre Grotto, and the Chain Energy. All right, Chain Energy is an awful card. It is so annoying. Okay, second to last pack, Metal Raiders. If there's ever gonna be something epic, now's the time. Let's do this. Come on. Forbidden Legacy, give us something good. We've got an Occu Beam. The Castle of Dark Illusions. Roaring Ocean Snake. Hibikime, and here should be the big boy, or the big girl, or what is going on? What is that? We got something in here. It's like a dust or something. Okay. The Blade Fly, Dome of the Angel of Science, Little Swordsman of Veil, Block Attack, and oh, Pequeno Moss growing up. Okay, that's at least good. Okay, two more packs. All right, we're hoping for Dark Magician or Blue Eyes over here. This one's like extremely warped. You can just tell in the pack. Come on, be something good in this pack. We only have one foil. This is killer. The ratio is only two, really. I mean, it's one in five, one in six, something like that. But 
But you, well, you really you should get two supers and an ultra. So really, it's like three. But we've only gotten one. So hopefully, we can get two here. We got a root water. The drooling lizard. One of the most powerful cards in the game. Air Warrior number two. So they have a number one and a number two in the same set. It's very interesting. Okay, guys. Send him some luck. Here we go. Two-pronged attack. You know, Thomas Soul, 13th grave in your obby. All right, not great luck with the packs. So now we need good luck here. Either Dark Magician or Blue Eyes would be insane. All right, let's try not to ruin it. It's already warped, so we got to be careful. All right, there we go. That That's it. opening well. Okay. All right, let's try not to damage anything here. It's, yeah, okay. We got to be careful here. It's not, it didn't rip great on that side. So let's go like this. There we go. Okay, we got it out. Yeah, see, as you guys can see, it had that corner right there. But you got to be really careful with those corners. It can damage. Very warped here. All right, put your guesses in the comments. What will it be? Check out this thing. The thing is very warped. Okay, I'm going to go with Dark Magician. We're going to get all three. Boom, we nailed it. Dark Magician. All right. That is awesome. Super warped. Uh, definitely book worthy. You got to put it under a book. That's still really cool. If you can flatten it out, I think it'll be great. But uh, let's see. We didn't get too much. We did get the legendary Pacano Moth, which is pretty awesome. And then, of course, Giant Trunade. We got the whole set of Forbidden Legacy, which is really cool. You love to see that, but uh, only one foil throughout the video, which is, uh, you know, not great. But thanks again, Jose, for sending these in. It was so much fun to open these up. I always love opening Forbidden Legacy. Any LOB, MRD, SRL, MRL, whatever, is always so much fun. As you know, MRD is my favorite set. So if you guys didn't see yesterday's video or whenever this comes out two days ago, whatever, go check it out. It was crazy. It was awesome. And this was a lot of fun as well. So I appreciate you guys being here. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe because we are on the way to 100K. I really want to open all those Retro Pack 2. After I opened the Retro Pack 2 in the Special Edition opening, I was like itching to open the box, but I was like, I got to wait. I got to wait. So Retro Pack 2. I also have some more surprises coming for the 100K. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!